Massachusetts. Joining me now, Heritage Foundation Senior Legal Fellow Hans von Spakovsky. For it to pop at a rate faster than triple digits, that's striking, Hans, the fundraising yeah, there. Is. Go ahead. I, I, it is, but I think it's a sign that uh, the American people are tired of this. This went on for two years, and for two years, uh, the claim was made that there was collusion with the Russians, that it called the legitimacy of the 2016 election into question, and, and we now know there was no such evidence that anything like that ever happened. You know, let's back up. It's not something um, to celebrate the fact that, according to the Mueller report, President Trump did try to get Donald McGahn and Corey Lewandowski and Reince Priebus uh, to step into the Russia investigation and stand up for him, um, and that it was saved from official obstruction by his aides, who saved him from legal jeopardy. What was your take on that section of the report? Well, my take on that was that, yeah, it's a good thing that his aides uh, kept him from doing that. But, but keep in mind this. When it comes to an obstruction charge by a federal prosecutor, one thing you have to show is a corrupt intent. I don't think they could do that here. Why? Because the, the intent that was driving the president was not trying to cover up some underlying crime. It was his anger, which I think a lot of people could understand, his anger at being accused of committing a crime that we now know did not occur. And, and the people around the president were, be, were being accused of process crimes. The people around the president were getting their phone messages, you know, given over to Mueller, right. their text messages, right. their emails, their bank account. Let me back up. You know, neither side got a clear black and white uh, day of reckoning. Um, the news is how, though, you know, you know what was striking, Hans? The news is how little was actually news. There was so much leaking going on. We basically right. knew this story that was in the report, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. And, and uh, you have to wonder. Uh, who was it in the office of Bob Mueller who was leaking this kind of information? Look, the other thing to keep in mind that was very important in the obstruction claims is that we know no actual obstruction of any kind occurred. No restrictions, no limitations were put on Mueller's uh, investigation. Not only that, but as you said, uh, Mueller had access to White House personnel, White House information, White House documents. The president never asserted executive privilege as he could have, and as, in contrast, Barack Obama did when uh, Congress was trying to investigate the Operation Fast and Furious uh, 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 operation that, that the Justice Department did. Yeah, the president never blocked what Mueller was... Exactly that's right. A, yeah. So, you know, here's the president just tweeting, quote, the Washington Post and the New York Times are, in my opinion, two of the most dishonest media outlets around. Truly, the enemy of the people. Boy, that's going to get the D.C. media beltway up in arms over that one. What's your take? Well, well, it is. You know, what I've been wondering is, are they going to give back their Pulitzer Prizes for all the stories they uh, published on the supposed collusion that occurred that never actually occurred? Yeah, it's a good point. Here's, you know, Hans, I want you to react to this. It's Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal saying now it's up to Congress. Let's take a listen. Mueller is trying to say to Congress, you should do your job, hold the president accountable, because I have given you a sweeping, systematic story of criminal wrongdoing. Hans, your reaction to that? Uh, that is just absolutely wrong. Uh, he simply laid out the evidence and, and, and left it for the attorney general to make a decision on whether there was actually uh, a criminally prosecutable offense. The attorney general, I think, correctly um, uh, concluded that there wasn't. And I think other prosecutors looking at this also, particularly because there was no underlying crime, and no actual obstruction of any kind occurred would say this is not a case that they would want to try to prosecute. This